yes people what's happening welcome back to another video Yo guys, so I realised there's so much music in the gym and it was so loud that I have to do a voiceover because you guys are not going to hear me very well. So basically, what I'm just saying over here is I'm going to run you guys through my typical back day that I've used to develop this back muscle, to develop my back muscles. So I need you guys to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get these gains. That's basically what I'm saying. Creatine, guys, you know that's pretty much the only supplement I take. Creatine and BCAAs. And I'm basically what I'm saying here is like I just have it at any point during the day it's not necessarily like at a certain time and I just have it like that during the workout and I'm ready to rumble and the other thing I also have is my BCAAs which I'm just showing you guys here how you can have them without using a funnel so look at that skills a bit look, look at my skills over there in my opinion guys BCAAs I don't think actually does anything except give you some energy because what I'm saying here is how one time I must have forgotten it when I was doing cardio and I felt a little bit weaker. But yeah, so I don't really know if it actually does anything. Right, exercise number one is deadlifts, of course. So I'm just stretching here. So this is like a little good stretch I do for my hamstrings. And I pull my knee to my chest. As you can see, I'm extremely stiff. Uh, I love this exercise I also do. You basically want to keep your core engaged at all times and just move your arms and your legs together, basically. It's just a way of activating your glutes and tightening up your core a little bit. Right, first exercise. Well, not first exercise, warm-up set. Just got 60 kg on the bar. I basically just do it to get some blood in the, in the muscles, really. So I do about five reps or five to eight reps, and I do this twice. So next shot is me doing it again. Another set, five reps. Or, or eight, I don't know. <laughs> you basically just listen to your body. You know when you're warming up or when you feel good. And I basically just went up in plates until I got to five plates. One thing I want to say, guys, is when you're doing deadlifts, so I've started to do reset reps. So if you see, when I, I fully drop the weight and I re-engage my core and I lift. So I used to do touch and go a lot of the time, but I realised that I had a tendency to shoot my hips up and over time getting stronger and stronger i think that's how i'm that could be one of the reasons how i hurt my back so if you pay attention to the way i lift it so what the next thing i'm doing here is 140 so you can see me breathing engage then lift and then i fully drop the weight engage again and then lift again give that a go instead of touch and go a lot of people do touch and go and sometimes when you do touch and go you tend to bounce it off the ground as well so really focus on your form as much as you can guys because Deadlifts ain't the one to hurt yourself, believe me. And I've hurt myself badly on deadlifts. To, to this day, it's been seven months and I'm still not 100% on my back um, injury. So yeah, man, you've got to be careful. Right, next set here, we got four plates, 180. So look, watch, engage, then lift, boom. Engage, lift, there you go. Just try it like that. Believe me, it's a game changer. And you will actually get stronger as well because you're, you're proper showing how you're stronger. All right then, so 180 felt good. Alhamdulillah, I'm gonna go for 225 plates. Haven't lifted this in about a month or two, so let's see what we can do. Let's go. Okay, we're going for five plates next. Right. I was gonna do the, um, what I'm just saying here is that I was gonna do it raw, but I haven't lifted the weight for a while. So you know what, let me just not wear a belt, wear a belt, sorry, but I will still do it without straps. So let me show you guys what we're working with here. I'm trying to psych myself up. And again, I'm really paying, paying attention to my form because I don't wanna mess my back up again. Proper deep breath, engage, lift. So I was pretty happy with that. Went again, engage, back straight. So I'm really taking a huge breath making most making a lot of use of the belt to like you know really tighten up my core so this is the second set i did it twice two sets of a double um and yeah man second set felt a little bit more difficult which was annoying but still moving wasn't too bad so i was pretty happy with that if i'm honest i'm gonna do it i'm just 180 i'm gonna go for about eight to ten reps don't know if you guys remember yeah i posted a video of me doing deadlifts when i was stage condition and my back, that video went viral. So one day, hopefully soon, <laughs> I'll be able to do another one with the added muscle. I think I've put on anyway. And then, yeah, man, I'm wrap. I've got this beltless and I just have, oh, it looks like I have a lifting strap. Okay, so it's not completely raw, but it's decent. Okay, 
second exercise, we got one of our favourites, spin over rows. We're going to get four sets, going heavier. So starting at around 12 to 16 reps, then the reps reduce. Let's go. Strap it up for this. All right guys, so when doing the bent over rows, so this is the lighter set, I think it's the first working set. You wanna avoid any swinging. So if you can see, I'm hardly using any momentum here. So you wanna roll the bar to your mid lower, lower stomach, really keeping your elbows quite tight by your sides and really getting that good contraction and full stretch. Feels good, man. So this is the next set, I've gone a bit heavier. I think there's about 110 kg on the bar there. So look, obviously the form, you start sacrificing form a little bit, but then again, it's not too bad, not too much swinging. Um, and I also forgot to mention guys, every exercise that I'm doing is pretty much four sets, 12 to 16 reps roughly. And uh, we're going for about, usually I'd say 60 to 90 seconds rest, but ultimately I just listen to my body and what feels good, I just do it, you know what I mean? That was a good set, really, you can tell from my face. <laughs> This is, I've gone even heavier now, there's three 15s there, so what's that, like a 120, or, what is that, 120, 110, 110, yeah, that's 110 now. So look, form is sacrificed, getting sacrificed now, but it's still good, look, as long as you are getting them reps in, and it's not crazy momentum, I still think the muscle, in my opinion, I still think the muscle will grow, as long as you're not, like, curving your lower back as well, so look, my lower back is straight. Third, fourth and final set, it's the heaviest set. I think I only went for about five or six reps here. Bent overall has never been a strong uh, movement of mine. As you can see my face looks like it's gonna blow up. So I'm struggling here, but again, it's not crazy momentum I'm using. Okay, it was on that last rep. Third exercise, I like to target quite a lot of my upper back, because my upper back is quite weak compared to my lower lats. My lower lats are a lot thicker. So most of my exercises are for the upper back, hence the way I pull. So I pull my elbows a bit, not when you pull the elbows by your side, it's going to target your lower leg. Play your elbows out a bit more, goes more towards your upper. Let's go. So this is like literally, it's a new machine that the gym has, Grafton Gym, and I really love the way it works because where my the handle grips are, it's free to move in every axis. So it's literally like free to move. And then um, the way I pull it, as I explained, I'm really targeting my upper back. I could easily pull my elbows tighter to my side and it would easily hit my lower lats. But like I said, my lower lats are more developed than my upper back. So I really try and hit my upper back a lot more because when I do diet down and I get leaner, man, my upper back looks a little bit flat. So yeah, man, just go as heavy as you can really, but try and keep that form. Yo, I'm feeling this. I actually have to do an extra set, the back off set. So then the extra arm wrap. It's kind of killed me for the rest of the session, but the power of food. Set number three. All right, the next exercise that I love to do, guys, is seated rows. Honestly, one of my all-time favorite exercises. I think it's perfect for your lower lat thickness development. And I literally like to start with a lot of volume. We're talking 16 reps on the first set. And I literally do progressive overload going heavier and heavier until I can only get maybe five to six reps. Progressive overload. So one point I like to, you know, make clear when doing uh, bent seated rows, I should say, is literally try when on the lighter sets to avoid swinging too much backwards so i see some people what they do is they literally swing so far backwards when they do an exercise and that's literally just too much momentum and you don't get the same kind of squeeze so you want to try and keep your body as upright as possible for as while you're going as heavy as possible so look i'm going heavier and heavier this is probably the heaviest set i've done you can see i am swinging back now and i'm using a bit of my feet legs as well but the point is like if you can, try and minimize that as much as possible. And then the progress will be a lot more significant. All right, guys, kill these sessions, man. So this next exercise I'm doing is a superset. So I like to do close grip lat pull downs. This is basically what I'm explaining. What you, what you guys see now is what I'm explaining. And then I superset it with pullovers. So let's go. And I think my shirt comes off here. Yeah. So another point I like to make when doing this exercise, as well as any kind of overhead pulling motion, is avoid swinging back too much. So look how I keep my torso upright. And can I just add my back is looking 
all right hitting this light in to be fair but yeah avoid swinging back that way again you're going to be using momentum keep your chest as upright as possible and really pull down the levers until your thumb knuckles touch your upper chest that's literally what i do and what i tend to see how i my upper back is starting to round now that only happens when i start fatiguing but you want to try and avoid doing that so that's something i'm doing wrong here don't up uh, curve your upper back and then super setting straight with um, cable pullovers man look at those weird little spots on my back it's annoying but um yeah so super set straight away no rest of course and again on this one is four sets and 12 to 16 reps going heavier and heavier Final exercise, three sets, let's get some more thickness. You ever been in my shoes, played by these rules, ready to lose? I'm not one to be slept on, tougher than Teflon, that's why I kept on. Got tracks for the ringtones, get in the ring foam, actually going bro. Sleeping on what's done, believe it, I won't run, teaching now, son. Stop. Getting the worst out of me, get them words out of me, consider me cowardly. Stop. Time for us to run and hide, not any son of mine, better just fall behind. Stop. Stand strong as Muslim mean, don't bring that energy, might start to envy me. Stop. Don't mistake who I am, steel top Timberlands, end up looking really silly, fam. With all with a stigma, Allah, please forgive us. Your name out of all should always be mentioned. At times we be slipping, my mind be forgetting. Push to the edge, so results in repentance. We learn to adopt, adopt, adopt. So much heaven stops, stops, stops. And now people are around. Receive many no's, achieve many goals. Stop. Yeah. Underestimating further. Birth it from my mother, best from none another. Put an on the sun that guides me in the dunya. Whoever is my kunya. Thinking I'm some little kid, did my due diligence. Now I'm trying to benefit. Only option to keep moving, no time for redoing. Yes, people. That was an amazing back day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, comment below if you guys have given it a go and uh, how it was for you. But just make sure you guys stay on top of form, especially on the deadlifts. Bend over rows, obviously you want to keep it good form and on the light assist. But when it gets heavier, you will tend to move your back and use a tiny bit of momentum like I did. But ultimately, you've got to try not to do that. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm back at the gym actually later on to do some cardio. So uh, yeah, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification. Let's get these subscribers up, guys. The support has been really good and I really appreciate it. And lastly, but not least, follow me up on Instagram at silverback underscore AJ and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.